Tonight, our continuing coverage on the mysterious deaths of two international students from the Stowers Institute for Medical Research in Casey Mo. Police are looking into a new approach to track the killer as the family of one victim and the government of the other get involved. Camilla Berenson and Pablo Guzman Palma died last Saturday. Sources tell KSHB 41 News that Berenson's father was in town today, traveling here from Argentina. The pair were found dead in a burned out apartment near the Country Club Plaza. So this is a story we first broke Saturday morning and since then several developments happen around this investigation. Earlier today we learned the Chilean government has eyes on this case. The homeland of Guzman Palma, the Chilean Minister of Foreign Affairs stated, we regret the death of a Chilean citizen in Kansas City. Going on to say, we send a supportive hug to all the victim's friends and families. Kansas City police also eyeing a smart device found at the scene that could help their investigation. KSHB 41's Megan Abundas talked to a neighbor who knew Berenson and Guzman Palma and with a former FBI agent. She shares how the international nature of crime plays into this investigation. A crime that shocked many across international borders. The second story of the Oak Street North Terrace apartments completely burned out. A rare case involving a double homicide, then a fire. But to have two international researchers killed, many questions surround the case. It is rare, and that's why it's getting that kind of attention. Rattled and, like, sad, obviously. Um... I don't know, it was really scary. Two young adult researchers gone. You can just see that they were obviously loved. We spoke with a man who worked with them, many at the Stower Institute, trying to wrap their heads around what could have happened. He came here to pay his respects, described them as go-getters, bright people with a future cut too short. Isaac Duran lives across the hall from the two roommates. And they're really nice, they like, we said hi. They, I left my key in the door one time and they like really, hey. You might want that. Isaac knew them as kind, new to the area, and eager to explore the Midwest. They were really excited. They had a lot of parties and friends. Um, they were really, they liked this area. Now investigators are hoping a virtual assistant in the apartment I'm Alexa. could lead them to clues. Michael Tabman, a retired FBI special agent in charge, agrees of the rarity of the crimes. Generally, people commit that fire after a murder to hide the fact that it was a shooting. And they think if the body is burned, that law enforcement won't determine the true cause of death. Uh, our forensics are well beyond that. He believes the FBI will also get involved. I think in the short term, it will certainly start a dialogue between the involved countries and the United States. They're going to want to have some sense of security for their people. But right here along Oak Street. I mean, honestly, this lesson has been know your neighbors, get to know them. I mean, they're really kind, and I wish I had met them more. Megan Abundis, KSHB 41 News.